Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun, and welcome to Millie Chun TV, where we will discuss hot topics, entertainment news, and reality TV. So please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now let's get into it. Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun, and I'm back. I have a little bit more I want to talk about from the Huntsville City Limits, okay? We're going to discuss some fashions, saw that. And then we're going to talk about Arian's live, a particular part. And then I'm going to address the fact that she said I was a fan. Let's get into it. Okay, y'all, what are we thinking, right? So we saw Trish in the Star Trek outfit, right? She needed a bra. She needed some new hair. She needed a new outfit. So this. I'm thinking it's her love and marriage Huntsville reunion fit. Now, I will say this. Let's start with the hair. I love the style. I love that it is a bob. I love that it is um, layered perfectly. Not the color. The color is not good, right? I don't understand this necklace. And this is a beautiful prom dress, right? Do you agree with me or am I just doing too much because it just feels like a prom dress to me. I don't understand the shoes, but I think this is better than that picture we saw. So we just gonna have to wait to the reunion to see that this has to be it, right? This has to be it. I want to know what you think about this. Let's keep going. Shout out to kicking it with Courtney. Um, I told y'all that Stormy was going to be outside the box. Stormy never just kind of stays in a lane with anybody else. I do like that about her. I think her hair is beautiful. Um, but Stormy has on like three outfits. She got like a bra on, a waist trainer, and a sarong. Or a one-piece swimsuit and a sarong. I love the color of this dress. I love the color. But she is definitely different. She has a different taste. Like, I think she, a, a little stylist, and I think she would be great. But this rope, I, I, you know, she, she's different. I already knew it was going to be different. Because last one, she had like this pink, wet-looking bubblegum dress on. And this time, she's way smaller. So she's really feeling herself. Let me know what you think about this. Now let's keep going to the live. So Martell has brought Arianne out, right? So she feels like she is a part of the situation. So she has surfaced. Now it seems like he only lets her out one month in the year. October is her month. So go off sis. But Ariane was speaking real spicy, right? She had a lot to say. Uh, people were asking her in the live, was she in California? She said she could have gone. She was invited, but her daughter had to cheer. And she has children that she has to raise. But she was definitely invited. But she didn't go because she's a mother, okay? That's why she said that she was not at the reunion. But then she really started feeling herself. Okay, so let's get into a little of the live that I didn't post yesterday. I don't know if you saw it. If you did, here it is again. Good, Marcy. I'm glad this may be the first season out of goddamn how many they didn't have. They done finished y'all. 10, 12 seasons. They, they tie me in there at some point all the time. I, I hear about it, so. But. If you haven't, good, shit, yeah. good, Marcy. But you still on my live, you know how I am. No, so mom, no something. Mom, so she's still talking about being discussed on this season of Love and Mary Tunsfield. Now, we are going to get into a part where she was discussed, and she was. Um, but I think there have been some seasons where they have not talked about her. The delusion is still real. You're right. They, they, did, they did talk about me on the girls' trip. And it's like one thing, like, the biggest misconception that y'all have about me 
And if y'all don't screenshot shit else and put in, put the shit everywhere, make sure y'all put this everywhere. Okay. I was not calling that lady, y'all. Like, I put that on my life. I was not calling her. I was not stalking her. I was not fucking doing shit. Like, Martel was calling me all day, every day, 40 times a day. I did not have to, like, what am I calling her for? Like, I, y'all, I was never calling her. I did DM her one time. I did. And y'all want to know why I DM'd her? Why? <laughs> because Martel was just in my house. And me and Martel was not on good terms. Like, we was not about to be talking to each other, dealing with each other. She stayed blowing me up, blowing me up. And I told her, I said, every single time your husband calls me, reaches out to me, I'm going to reach out to you so you can control your man. It's the reason she ain't never posted them DMs that I DMed her, because I did not come at her sideways or anything like that. I was not calling her husband. I was not, I mean, I was not calling her about her husband or anything like that. Like, I'm so tired of her getting on that, getting on there. She was calling me. She was texting me. I wasn't calling her. I wasn't texting her saying shit to her. I didn't have to. But I'm calling you both. <laughs> like, I just hate how they try to portray that whole story on there. That's another reason why Ariane can't film. <laughs> y'all don't want to hear the, the, y'all don't want to hear the truth. She's a liar. And I don't even like discussing her. Hey, you too. She's a liar. Now, I don't know if you have seen this, but this is the DM that she was talking about, right? I'm going to reach out to you every time your husband tries to contact me from here on. And then she went on to say some very disrespectful stuff to Mel about her husband, right? But what gets my goat is it's Mel's husband at the time. You are so disrespectful. And you want to make it right for yourself. Like this is where you're supposed to be. Like this is the man for you. Now you got the man and you still don't have the man. I'm going to let y'all read that for yourself. Let's keep going. The fact that she's still talking about being on Love and Marriage Huntsville is wild to me. That's the reason I can't film. You can't film because you broke up a home crazy. And I'm, and why is she, and she says Mel is a liar. You're with Martel. He is the biggest liar. He has lied to you over and over again. When he said he was going to leave Mel. When he said he was going to leave Sheree. When he said he was going to quit messing with this girl. When he said that y'all was going to be married. You can't call nobody a liar until you put Martel in that space first. But he is your bounce house partner, so let's keep going. It's like it's like women on here like Michelle that say homewrecker. Because um, you, you, you must be probably like getting cheated on or your husband is stepping out or elsewhere. You might not even be married. You just might feel how you feel. But you... Another woman can't break somebody that's at home. They, you just can't. You can't. Like, it's just, it's Mommy. just not possible. <laughs> yeah, I'm, that, I'm ten years younger than all the, all of them. I stay out of my business. You just can't. <laughs> what tickles me is she doesn't take her own advice. Regardless if it was a business situation, Martel was out there with Sheree. So all those messages that you put on the internet, you said it was just business. I'm mad that I had a baby by this dude, blah, blah, blah. You said you was going to leave. You was going to do this. Like, so you, you couldn't keep him at the house? You know what I'm saying? Now, we know you are the supreme rebound chick. We know that. We know that every time Martel goes out there, he can come right back to you. We got that. Because that's what you do. That is who you are. But we're going to go and get into the last part. Let's go. So this is the final part, right? This is the part where Ariane Curry said me, Millie Chun, is a fan. I loved what someone had said about two or three messages down, a fan of what? Because those were my sentiments, right? Um, this lady right here, Chef Ash, is back 
has since been blocked off of my TikTok. And I need you to block yourself from my Instagram. Because she's the one who brought my name up. That never should have happened. She said, have you seen Millie Chun blog, sis? Because see, Arian did not have that much to say. Right? This is how her conversation went. She looked at it. She said, hmm, she's a fan. No, I have not seen it. But then she went on. So then she tells Arian to head over to the IG. She just seen it. I need you to just see these parts of speech for C. C saw scene, I need that. But let me let Arian know how big I am not a fan of hers. I am not a fan of a girl who cosplays as a woman. I am not a fan of a girl who has done everything in her power to dismantle a family. I am not a fan of a girl who does not put herself first in her future. She told Tasha K that I couldn't finish nursing school. It just it was just too much. It was too much because you was trying to keep up with a married man and have his baby and do all the things to keep him, right? Now you got him and you still don't got him. I am not a fan of a woman, a girl, who is willing to become a criminal behind a man. I think when all the revenge P came out, the reason she didn't post the video is because she said, and we heard her say, because Martell was on the tape, okay? I am not a fan of a girl who feels like she deserves something that she never should be a part of anyway. I'm not a fan of a person who feels like they belong somewhere where they don't. I'm not a fan of a girl who allows a man to call her a peasant and it's okay. Right? I am not a fan of a woman, a girl, who allows a man to bring her out once a year. October is your month. I hope you do all. You got about 12 days left. Go off, sis. Do your big one. But I am not a fan. Right? I really feel bad for you. And I feel like. You've taken my kindness for weakness. Because, see, there's some other content creators that will really get at your ass. <laughs> right? There are. I don't feel the need to all the time because you're very insignificant. And I know that after this month, we won't see you until next year. So, I talk about you, Ariane, when it's something to talk about. When there's not, there's nothing to say, okay? So, no, ma'am, <laughs> I'm not a fan. So, and I think you already knew that. But that's all I had to say. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>